Hello, and welcome to our channel, A Nexus, for the inquisitive and perpetually curious. Here, you can explore a wide range of topics from our everyday life and beyond. Dive in, and you'll discover a universe of knowledge that is continuously evolving, spanning from science to arts, nature to culture, history to technology, and everything in between. Welcome back to another episode of our Food and Lifestyle series. We're on the brink of exploring the art of making paneer, the flavorful cornerstone of South Asian gastronomy. So, let's embark together on this exciting culinary adventure. Remember to subscribe to our channel for updates. We're thrilled to have you join us on this journey and eagerly anticipate your company until the end. Now, let's turn our attention to paneer. This fresh, acid-set, non-aged, and non-melting, soft cheese plays a pivotal role in the cuisine of South Asia. The etymology of paneer, deeply embedded in a variety of languages, accentuates its broad usage and international appeal. When tracing its origins, it is believed that paneer has historical roots in ancient India, Afghanistan, Iran, and Portugal, further testifying to its global influence. Paneer is a specific type of dairy product that is traditionally crafted from full-fat milk. This milk is typically sourced from a variety of animals. Buffaloes, known for their rich and creamy milk, are one of the most prevalent sources. Cows, also renowned for their high-quality milk, are another common source. The milk from these animals imparts a unique texture and flavor to the paneer. It's worth noting that different types of milk have been utilized in the production of this cheese. The process commences by typically bringing the milk close to a boil. For buffalo's milk, the suggested temperature range is approximately 185 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit, while for cow's milk, it's 176 to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. This heating phase depends on maintaining the specified temperature range with an optional holding period of up to 10 minutes. It is important to remember that this combination of temperature and time is a variable in the making of paneer. After the heating process, the milk is usually cooled to a temperature ranging from approximately 158 to 167 degrees Fahrenheit. This sets the stage for the subsequent coagulation phase, a vital step in attaining the desired texture of the paneer. It's worth noting that the optimal coagulation temperature can vary based on the milk source. The process of making paneer involves the use of food acids such as lemon juice or vinegar for the coagulation of milk. The following is a list of food-grade acids commonly used to coagulate milk in paneer production, lemon juice, vinegar, sour or cultured whey, yogurt, citric acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, and malic acid, among others. It's important to note that these acids must be food grade. These food acids trigger the denaturation and aggregation of milk proteins. This forms a gel-like network that encapsulates the fat and water, resulting in the creation of curd, a process known as coagulation. Coagulation takes place when the milk's pH reaches around 4.6, aligning with the isoelectric point of its primary protein, casein, and the set coagulation temperature. However, it's important to note that the exact coagulation temperature can vary based on several factors, including the rate of acidification, the protein content, and the presence of stabilizers. After the milk coagulates, the curd is allowed to rest undisturbed for a few minutes before the whey is drained off. The curd is moved to a muslin or cheesecloth for solid component separation. Post-extraction, it's pressed under weight for hours until solidified. This pressing eliminates residual whey and molds the curd into a firm paneer block. The process culminates with the block being submerged in cold water for hours, enhancing its texture and aesthetic appeal. This meticulous procedure gives birth to high-grade paneer, distinguished by its pure, marble-like whiteness. It provides a taste that delicately combines sweetness with a hint of mild acidity and a flavor that evokes a nutty essence. The paneer features a consistency that is both springy and firm, and a texture that is flawlessly smooth and closely interlaced. 
Essentially, the exceptional quality of the pannier is a reflection of the meticulous procedure employed in its creation. Numerous factors come into play when determining the body and texture of pannier. Some of these include the type and concentration of the coagulant, such as the food acid, the temperature at which coagulation occurs, and the specific type of milk used. Notably, a lower acid strength results in a pannier with a softer body and smoother texture, while a higher acid strength leads to a harder body. This highlights the complexity and intricate details of the coagulation process discussed earlier. To preserve this culinary masterpiece and prolong its shelf life, pannier is typically stored under refrigeration, ensuring its freshness is maintained. Pannier is acknowledged as a rich source of milk protein in terms of nutritional value. It not only boasts high protein content and digestibility but also serves as a valuable source of fat, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, among others. In India, buffalo milk, which is rich in solids, is the preferred choice for pannier production, due to its ability to enhance the texture and quality of the final product. The table provided offers a comparative analysis of the nutritional composition of buffalo and cow milk. Buffalo milk, recognized for its rich content of fat, total solids, and calcium, necessitates a higher heating temperature compared to cow's milk. The calcium concentration significantly influences the texture of the pannier, with an increased calcium content typically yielding a more firm pannier. Furthermore, the heat stability of buffalo milk, credited to its elevated peroxidase activity, facilitates prolonged natural preservation. This attribute subsequently prescribes the distinct processing temperatures required for buffalo milk. Over time, to cater to evolving tastes and dietary preferences, new variants of pannier have been developed. Chana, an acid-coagulated cheese from the Indian subcontinent, stands as a unique variant. It follows a production process similar to pannier, but chana distinguishes itself with a special step of kneading, while it's still warm. This step imparts a smooth texture, comparable to whipped cream, which sharply contrasts with the firmness typical of pannier. Transitioning from cheese to dessert, chana undergoes a fascinating transformation. It is meticulously shaped into small balls, which then serve as the foundation for the preparation of rasgulla, a syrupy dessert that enjoys widespread popularity in eastern South Asia. The art of creating pannier, underscored by its simple and accessible production methods, truly stands as a testament to its status as a staple in Indian cuisine and beyond. This process, steeped in tradition, not only produces a versatile ingredient but also reflects the rich culinary heritage from which it originates. While pannier and chana are indeed nutritious, moderation is key due to their high fat and calorie content. Additionally, their nutritional value can diminish when processed with ingredients such as sugar, flour, and fat to create traditional sweets. Thank you for watching. We invite you to explore our channel, where you'll find a wealth of content from our food and lifestyle series. But that's not all. Venture beyond the ordinary and explore an array of topics, ranging from daily life to intriguing subjects like science, arts, nature, history, technology, and more. If you enjoyed our content, please support us by sharing, subscribing, ringing the bell, and giving us a thumbs up. We appreciate your support.